Do you like vectors? Well, of course you do. Today, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create believable vector eyes in the three minutes that you can use in any of your portraits. All right, let's do this. So I'm, I'm doing this illustration. I'm doing this eye based off a, a, a template I already had. So what I'm doing first is setting the light source with a, a nice little quick highlight to show so I know which direction the light is coming from. Then the next thing I'm going to do is create a darker ring around the iris, which will reflect, uh, uh, add some depth to the, the eye itself, and then repeat that same process and then but switch the gradient on the, on the outline so that the highlight is at the top and the dark, the darkness is at the bottom. So when I put my light source on the iris as a whole, it will create a, a, a counterbalance to the light. So I used a, a, a gradient, a radial gradient, and with the same color definitions as the um, I use for the outline and just flip them. The key now, what I'm doing now is trying to add a little more depth. The whole thing is about adding depth to these, to, to the eyes. So I'm adding, I'm gonna add a soft, subtle shadow by creating a 50% a gray and then using multiply and transparency to fade it from the top as if it's hidden, like the height is coming from, the shadow is coming from the eyelid. Now I'm adding uh, a highlight and normally I'll just have a solid highlight, but I realized that if I add a slight blur to it, it makes it feel like it's more of a reflection and not just something that's thrown on and it adds a little more depth and, and life to the, to the eye that you can't get by having something that's really solid. You know, that, that little touch right there is what kind of shifts the, the look for it to me, you know? And then you just add like little subtle things, like you can add an additional highlight or you got an additional highlight depending on what the, the, the light source is that you're looking at. But that's it, it's those simple, those, those few little pieces that add together to create this effect. And you can do, and it doesn't take long to do, and you can add your own spin to it, but it's that quick. If, uh, let me know if you have any questions. If I went too fast, let me know and, uh, I'd uh, love to help out and answer any questions you may have in the comments. Uh, thanks again. Uh, see you next time. As always, be kind to yourself. Peace.